What's going on guys? It's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's video is a little bit different, but it's still kind of a chat and it's something that was brought up, uh, brought up to me and I haven't thought about it in a while, but what do you do when you're at a wedding or an event and a guest comes up to you and says, do not take my photo. Let's talk about it. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Again, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If this video helps you out in any way, give it a thumbs up and click that bell for notifications. Now that we have that out of the way, this is kind of a weird thing, right? Um, so I've actually had this quite a bit in my, uh, in my career over the last 10 years of shooting, hundreds of events and hundreds of weddings. But um, I actually don't know how, I, how you should react to this. So I kind of want to talk about it and give you my tips on what to do. So here's the situation. Let's put you at a wedding and you're shooting. You are, your job is to document candidates, document everybody, documenting things going on and things that maybe the bride and groom won't see so they can see later. But you have somebody that walks up and says, hey, will you please not take a picture of me throughout the entire day? You easily will say yes, but then how feasible is that? What if they're dancing on the dance floor? Are you allowed to go on the dance floor and dance? What if they give the bride and groom a hug? Do you just not shoot that? Do you have to explain this to the couple or to the bride and groom? Um, so it's a little weird. Um, so I'll tell you guys about a situation that I have that's a little more abrupt and then we'll kind of talk about the different version of that. So I was shooting a wedding, um, in Reno and I had a second shooter with me and, uh, while we were shooting, it was probably an hour into the reception, dinner was happening and speeches were going on. And so it was dinner time and, um, this guy walks up to me and says, if you take my picture, I will find you and I will kill you. Not changing any words, literally what he said to me. He had glasses on, he had a cast on, I remember him, and he had, he had a cast on, so that his jacket kind of went over it, just like this. Um, and I literally was like, okay, because <laughs> what do you say to that? Like, yes, sir, or like, I, I dare you, let's, you know, prove me wrong. So I went to my second shooter and said, don't shoot this guy, don't do it, because he's going to kill us if we do. And, it, and then after that, it kind of made me just upset. I was like, why is somebody telling me what I can and can't shoot, who I can and can't shoot? The model signs or the bride and groom signs are released for the entire thing. I'm shooting there. I'm documenting as much as I can. I don't want to have to stop documenting something because somebody is worried about being caught in a photo. So I didn't want to have to worry about me walking around and worrying about this guy the whole time. And it just got kind of weird throughout the night because we would kind of look at him. I would think, go for a shot, think if he was in my shot and kind of go from there. He wasn't obviously staring at me, but it was obvious that he knew what was going on. Now, people don't want to get shot for a few reasons, right? I always kind of joke about it and say they're either cheating on somebody or they're hiding from the law. And I really think that's what it is. If they have enough guts to come up to me and say, do not take a picture, it's not because they feel insecure or they're overweight and they don't like pictures. It's because something's going down, they're not supposed to be there, and they don't want us to document it. But what do you do as a photographer when somebody comes and tells you or asks you, do not shoot them at a wedding? I literally say, I have one job here. My job is to document this wedding. And... Be aware of where the camera is, and if you guys are in it, you're in it, we can always delete the image, but the images go straight to the bride and groom and nowhere else. And that's kind of what I tell them, and I've told a couple people that. I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to watch you and see who's in the shot or not. If you're by the bride and groom, you're gonna get their picture taken. Now, what I wanna know from you guys is who here has dealt with this? Because I've only dealt with it maybe like five or six times, and I feel like the way I deal with it, people go, okay, got it, and they just stay away from me. They just, they're just gone, I don't see them anymore, they leave early or whatever. How do you guys deal with it? What do you guys do? Do you have any crazy stories? I would love to hear it in the comments below. Another quick story is I had a mother who was n not supposed to be at a wedding show up and basically the bride told me not to document the mom, but the mom was one of those moms that just kept coming up. You know, and it's weird, right? Do please don't document my mom. And the bride kept uh, going away from the mom. The mom kept coming up to him, to her. I had the, finally just got to the point where I just stopped caring and just started shooting when I shot, deliver what I delivered. They didn't want to use it. They don't have to use it. Oh, God. So it's kind of an interesting topic, and I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Um, it's funny. It's funny. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. Little chat for you today. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.